I'm here in Ukraine because I'm a journalist. I'm here in Ukraine because of the war in the East. My goal is to try to report on what is happening in the eastern part of this country. I've been in Ukraine now for about two weeks, Konstantin, and I am impressed by the people, the spirit of the people, the generosity of the people, and the welcoming of the people of Ukraine to me. My impressions there are many. First of all, I am impressed by the local people who are volunteering their time to bring food, clothing and other materials to the war zone in Ukraine. There are soldiers there who depend on these people, these volunteers who risk life and limb to bring these materials to the war zone. Another quick story. We came to a checkpoint and, and one of the soldiers who was talking to Sergei in the window said, Ah, oh, you are volunteers. Good. Do you have any warm clothes? And Sergei said, Yes, I can get you some. Oh, good. Sergei got out of the van, went around, put the hatch back up, and he distributed gloves and hats and even a big warm coat for the soldiers. And they were so grateful for these things. You've got to understand, these men are sleeping out in tents. It's getting cold and they, they have a shortage of warm clothes, even a shortage of food, and they need these, these provisions. I think we have a responsibility as journalists to take the risk and go to the war zones and, and struggle to get the news out to the world so that people become more aware of the terrible things that are happening in eastern Ukraine. There are ordinary people, uh, citizens who are being abused, who have lost their jobs. 40,000 businesses in eastern Ukraine are not functioning now because of the war. There are thousands of people who have been persecuted, forced from their homes because of the war. There are people living without electricity and, 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 and potable water because of the war. So human rights abuses has to be one of these points. Another one is the cost. This war in the East is costing a lot of money. I think we have to look at the terrible loss of life. The soldiers, the Ukrainian soldiers and even Russian soldiers who are dying in this war are individuals, human beings with great potential. That potential is being snuffed out by bombs, by bullets, by abuse. I think going right to North America is a good idea. You will be able to speak directly to hundreds, probably thousands of people who really want to know what's going on. People in Canada need to appreciate that we live in a peaceful land, free from human rights abuses, free from the cost of war. But we also have responsibility to help our fellow people across the world. And Canadians, I think, have a responsibility to help Ukraine come to a peaceful resolution with Russia. We have a responsibility to share our skills and our technical people with Ukraine to help build a stronger country. So in Canada, I would say we have a responsibility to Ukrainians. I think people need to understand the truth about human rights abuses that are happening in the East. People like you and myself, like the people seeing this television show, are losing their homes, they're losing their jobs, they're being beaten up, they're being persecuted because of their religious beliefs, they're being persecuted if they are pro-Ukrainian, and this is a terrible experience for thousands, of, thousands upon thousands of individuals. I think if you take this message to North America, a certain um, disgust will, will evolve. And when enough people become disgusted and angered by what is going on in the world, then action is taken. Then governments pressure governments to take action to stop these abuses. So I think it all starts with the common people and the groundswell. And the message has to be, wake up people, this is what's going on. Your neighbors in Ukraine are suffering. We need to act, we need to speak out. We need to help make changes so that peace returns to that area. That's the message.